What's up guys, welcome back on this new video of I Go Good Egg. So today I will show you two steps. But firstly, I will only show you how to set up Hyper-V, but I will show you how to install Kali Linux on Hyper-V Windows 10 so easily that you won't even have time to blink your eye. So let's get into it. So first thing first, you're going to open your browser and go to Kali.org site. So actually they released um, a new version of Kali Linux images which is actually accessible on Hyper-V Windows 10. Oh yep, that's what's up. So you're gonna scroll down, scroll down and click on Offensive Security VM download page. So what you're gonna do is scroll down and there is it. It's what you need. Kali Linux Hyper-V images. There is not yet a 32-bit version, but for now we're gonna deal with this one, the 64-bit version. So I won't download it for a second time because I have it already in my machine. So you're gonna close your browser. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna set up Hyper-V. So what you're gonna do is open your control panel. There is it. Then go to turn on Windows and Features. After Control Panel, you're gonna to go to Program and Features. Then turn on, turn on this. And, um, a little bit. All right. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna activate this boy Hyper-V. When you click on it, you're gonna actually tick up all of this. But there's a little trick to this actually to actually install Hyper-V. So right now what you're gonna do is you're gonna because when you're gonna install when you're gonna click on this, Hyper-V will actually install uh, the images, import the images. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna reboot your machine. You're gonna reboot your machine to the BIOS. When you reboot to the BIOS, you're gonna have something like this. So what you have to do is is to enable this function, the virtualization technology. So what you have to do is go on security, in security, you go to system security, and then you enable virtualization technology. If you have enabled it already on your BIOS, that's fine. So when you have enabled this, reboot your computer, then come back on Windows features and you're gonna enable this guard host when you're gonna enable the guard host it automatically gonna unleash Hyper-V hypervisor when it's unleashed you're gonna tick on it actually I've, I've done that so you're gonna tick on this and then press OK so when that's done you reboot your computer and when you type hyper-v on your computer you're gonna appear on your machine hyper-v manager so let's launch it and see what's doing okay so this is my machine what we're gonna do is refresh it first let's refresh it now we're going to import virtual machine so next going to browse where you actually extracted the virtual images as for me it's on my d drive there is it extracted click on this you're going to select virtual machines then click on next then that's if you actually important your virtual machine so click on next click on um, register the virtual machine in place click on next if in case it produces an, an, a mistake don't worry about that it's gonna pop up a little error of which I think I should have it in a couple of seconds so let's see what gonna happen but if in case you don't have a um, the, that error that that pops up don't worry don't, don't worry about that you can proceed straight to the point as you see I actually encountered a mistake so what you're gonna do is click on this use default switch 
default switch very important click on next and finish and that's it your virtual machine has been imported successfully <clears throat> so what you're gonna do is click on this and press on connect <clears throat> when you click on connect sorry about that you're gonna show your virtual machine Kali Linux is turned off then click on start when you press on start you're gonna start the operate the the Kali Linux and as easy as it is it just takes a couple of seconds to run Kali Linux so as we all know Kali Linux default password and username is root and tor for those who don't actually know that I will put it at the description of the video so you guys can easily get into it and then start. for those who are interested in cyber security I'll put the link down below to my website so you guys can go have some courses on cyber security for those who are really interested on it or you can leave a comment for me to if you encounter any issues during the installation so as you can see very easy and it's launched so let's see very quick easy so what you're gonna do right, right root root and the password is tor t double o r login so this is actually the new version of Kali Linux 2019.4 um, don't worry about that all the, they actually all look alike the actually updated the framework the, the design and updated some actual some penetration testing tools and all the stuff for those who are more acute with Linux to understand what I'm talking about so as you can see as easy as it is simple as it is so hopefully you enjoyed the video so uh, don't forget to like subscribe share and comment especially like for sure give us a thumbs up if you like the video so to help us and encourage us providing more excellent content hopefully you enjoyed this video bye oh sorry that was my mistake so um that's it i think so yeah i think we're done if in case you get any question for the next tutorial you you know what to do provide us in the a new idea for our next tutorial so we can help you in fact help you guys and provide you guys with more content thank you i appreciate it ciao